When I grow up, I would like to be a zookeeper because I can feed animals and I don't do that that often. The first thing I wanted to do um, was a wildlife uh, photographer and that was mainly through watching all the David Attenborough programmes. So yeah, I wanted to be outdoors, uh, taking pictures of animals and nature, just having adventures really. I wanted to be a marine biologist originally, which I think was a odd sort of job choice that lots of people wanted that sounded like you spend your whole time messing around with dolphins on a boat. I wanted to be a biology scientist because when I was younger in school, uh, biology just fascinated me. A farmer. I wanted to have my own farm and that was because I love animals, particularly I love cows. I'm probably going to have my most favourite animal, which is a lemur. And the whole zoo is just going to be lemurs. Oh, it's like a monkey. But no one here. I'm from a farming background, so I'm always around animals, and I want to just to look after the environment and look after the animals, sort of thing. I want to be a zookeeper because I get to play with the big cats and I get to play with all the animals and feed them. The reason why is because I love animals and bunnies and lions. As a child, I always thought I was going to be a vet. I liked working with animals. I always wanted to be a vet. I want to be a vet to care for animals and to help them. I have a dog at my dad's. I used to have fish. I had a pet lizard. I absolutely loved him. He's called Spotty. Ideally, I wanted to work in a game reserve in uh, South Africa or Zimbabwe, which is where I'm from. And that's what I wanted to do since I was a kid. <laughs> I had a, a, a strange career journey. I was planning to go to university. I wasn't the best student at school. I was being a little bit of a rebel, which didn't always go down particularly well. Awful at maths, awful at chemistry, really hated it. Maths is the best. Right, maths is probably quite important. So I took that as an extra like qualification to try and get myself maths ready. I actually really enjoyed it and did really well. Planned to go on to do A-levels. Unfortunately found out I was expecting my gorgeous daughter, which kind of put us, ended up going to night school and doing A-levels whilst I was pregnant. Got to university but had to do it sort of part-time, having a small child. Ended up going into working with children that were excluded from school. I went to art college at the age of 17, three years there, and then I've just been working in the industry doing graphic design, typography, a bit of illustration. My favourite subject is art. I like designing multiple things. My title is uh, art director and I just chose that. I can be anything really. It's only two of us. So I help people sort of make decisions on how to use their money. We get people moving, uh, getting off their chairs, less sedentary work. I work on a bar, so I'm a bartender. Serve drinks to people, clear tables, uh, setting up a bar. It's very fast paced and I enjoy that a lot. I actually went on to study psychology at the University of East Anglia and through that I kind of accidentally ended up doing what I'm doing now. So I'm the head of employability for Voluntary Norfolk. Well, I'd done a philosophy degree while I was at university. It was something I really enjoyed doing. It wasn't until sort of my last year at university that I decided that I was actually quite interested in the f world of financial services. We just happened to study philosophy of economics. If you talk to any anyone in any field they haven't had a straight line easy ride. I actually worked in a bingo hall for a little while. I worked in property management and then someone said to me have you thought about going into financial services but you'd need to take some exams and I thought do you know what I didn't do that well at school I am going to go and challenge myself take some exams and then I became a financial advisor which has led me on to now training. I help financial planners uh, be the best that they can be. My role involves working with people with communication and swallowing problems and helping them return to as close to normal as possible. I'm the children and families and young people's participation coordinator. Bit of a mouthful. We would generally work with children who are not feeling happy and safe at home. My responsibility is to make sure that their voice is heard. What's the best thing about my job? Customers, 100% customers. It's so nice to see us being able to set up the transfer, get the money out to them, and they're so grateful. It's probably that it is what I make of it. If anyone in the team or I have a great idea, then there's enough flexibility in this kind of work to sort of go after that idea. I get to sort of make my own job to a certain extent. The great thing about social work is that you can work with children and kind of bring the best out of families and, and kind of help their situation. Getting feedback from families that things are improving, they feel listened to, um, all of those are really rewarding. Yeah, making a difference in people's lives. 
So I fell into a piece of work and a job that I really enjoy. Um, and I think you can probably get a little bit mad overthinking it and being really hard on yourself. There are lots of pressures I feel to go to university and study at degree level. Don't always think about it has to be university and you have to go at 18. Find your own road. As long as you get there in the end it doesn't matter what the journey looks like. And just try and experience as many roles as you can. Work as hard as you can, think about other ways that you can learn as well. It's not always about qualifications. I think the soft skills can be undervalued but are so important. Sometimes jobs can get you down I think, is the mundane tasks or you know, so keep doing what your heart wants you to do.